I am back. This is Christopher Michaels, AKA Who's Your Chubby, with my second unboxing. And today's unboxing is from, I hope I have this right. I do. I believe it's pronounced Seiki, maybe Saki. Um, and it is a porcelain tea pot because I have decided I want to get back into drinking good tea, you know, not just Lipton kind of crap, but actually good tea that you need a special teapot to, uh, you know, get it to brew properly. I hope I said the right words. I'm sure you'll correct me if I didn't. What surprised me about this was this box didn't come in a box. It just came like this with my address stuck on it, which makes you wonder and was just on the door. I ordered it from Amazon. I got it on special, I think it was $12. And if you can see the spelling there, I think it's rather funny because, let's make sure that says, yes. It's rather funny because as my partner pointed out, it says steel, S-T-E-A-L, instead of S-T-E-E-L. It's 48 ounces, it's a nice size one. Dishwasher safe and lead free. Or at least that's what they tell us. Okay, spin this around. Here we go. Da, 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 da. All right. Okay, first thing we have is the Saki, Saki teapot instruction manual. Gosh, I hope I didn't just make that all blurry. Well, the wonders of editing, right? And I've seen some of these unboxings. I only wish some people edited Okay, so what we have here, didn't put my bifocals on like I was supposed to, so I gotta take my glasses off. Uh, let's see, just uh, dear customer, you know, care and cleaning, uh, what not to use. It's sad that they have to put things in writing of what not to use. Oh, so sad. You know what, folks? I'm gonna put my bifocals on. I'm an old man. These are my TV watching glasses. Oh my God, I can see now. Hi, how are you? Okay, so we've got the box going. That's uh, kind of a neat little image. I don't know what the hell it is, but it's going to be. We have the top of a teapot. All right, so. And I'm going to get it out. Oh, well, I think I'm going to get it there we go. I got it out. Let's just put that over there, shall we? And we have our bubble wrap. Which I'll just sit here for no, an hour pressing the little bubbles. No, I won't. Okay, here we go. Let's take this off. Uh, oh, that's quite nice. So here's the teapot. Well, we have the the top of it. Um, now we have the side. It's actually quite heavy. I like that. That should mean that it's not going to break easy when I throw it at my partner's head. I mean when I accidentally drop it. <laughs> um, let's see here. I wanted a clear one, but then I was worried it would get broken. I had one a few years ago and it got broken quite easily. And uh, this was a good price. So I thought I'd try it. Uh, very nice lid. I say that because it's sturdy, it's thick, it has the little, so you know, right word, I, it won't fall off, is what I'm trying to say, when you're pouring the tea, because you just move that and it's going to be on there. I have to put it in a special, certain area to actually uh, get it to close or open. I know some people bitch about that because they're like, you know, it was they turn it. Well, turn the damn thing and shut up. Gee. All right, so here we go with the metal, the steel, S-T-E-A-L. God, what do you call it? I'm not sure. Well, let's just put it this way. You put the tea in here. It usually comes in a bag or a tin. It's all loose. And you put the tea in here as much as you want. And then you put this inside the tea. I hope you're seeing that. Let me do it again. You put the tea in here. A tea strainer, strainer. Put the tea in the tea strainer. It's usually in a bag or a tin. You put that in the tea pot. 
It even has a little groove here, right where it's supposed to go. That's nice. And then for your hot water in it, or you can put your hot water in it first. Whatever you want to do, just do it. Then put the lid on it, and that goes right here in this little groove part. And you let it steep for about five, 10 minutes. Although most, most people that I've talked to say five minutes, because if you steep it any longer, it will come out very bitter. And nobody wants bitter tea. But taking that, then you simply take the tea leaves that will be much bigger now that they've steeped and you take them and you throw them on the garbage. You wash this out and it is dishwasher safe. And, um, Put the lid back on, and you have your tea. Ooh, that scared me. You have your tea. This is dishwasher safe. It looks like it comes apart, although I'm not going to. Oh, yes, I am. Watch me break the damn thing. I just got it. Probably be better if I did it on camera. It looks like here you just push these sides in. Yep, there you go. And you can pull this out for separate washing. I guess to wash this better, you probably want to wash in there really good anyway. And then it just pops right back into place. Uh, tiny little holes. I'm used to them being much bigger um, for the tea to come through, but I'm sure it'll be just fine. And then on the bottom too. I'm quite impressed actually with this. This is very good, especially for $12. Hopefully this won't rust. I don't know if it will or not. If it does, you'll hear about it. So will I. Nice size. Usually you buy these uh, kind of teapots and they're just itty bitty little things. Now the nice thing about the clear ones is sometimes you can buy certain teas that uh, will expand into a flower inside the uh, teapot as it steeps. And so the clear ones are nice because you can see the flower, it looks pretty. Uh, but this one, again, I couldn't resist the price, so I got it. And I'm sure I can figure out some other way to look at the pretty flower if I want to. Again, it has a nice little part here so that this securely catches. And then it has a hole here. So you put this part first, close it, and it should stay, but I'm still going to do that because I'm a coward. I'm a coward. Uh, so there you have the uh, Seiki Saki um, teapot that I got from Amazon for $12, although I think regularly it's $27. But those little deals that they have for like two hours, I was lucky that that came through and I was able to get it. I'm rather excited to try this new teapot out. Hey, in the comment section, I would love to know if you have this teapot or a teapot like it. And what are the teas that you like to brew in your teapot? And what flavors do you like best? I, I'd be interested to find out so that I can maybe get them and brew them myself and have a lovely little day of tea sipping, darling. Once I get some tea, and make some, I'll probably do an update on how much I like this pot. I guess you could say I'll be spilling the tea. <laughs> oh, laugh, damn it, it was funny. Laugh even if it wasn't funny. Oh, don't laugh, I don't care. And of course, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below, along with the little bell next to it so that you'll know when I post another one of my unboxing videos or maybe a TV or movie review or just get on here and bet you about the way of the world. You just never know what I'm gonna do. You just don't. Hell, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Once for the medication. Oh, I didn't say that. All right, guys. Take care of each other. Be nice to each other. Bye. What's the tea, girlfriend? Mm hmm I love some good tea, if you know what I mean. Of course, people probably think I'm talking about drugs. I'm a little teapot, short and stout bastard. How dare you call me short?